Hey guys, welcome to bulk filming video number four. <laughs> today's, in today's video, and today's, this video is a book tag video. The original was done by Let Haley Read. Link for her channel will be in the description below for those of you who are interested in checking it out. I recommend it. It was a lot of fun to watch um, her take on her questions. And with that, I'll just jump right into what I read in high school book tag. First book one is a book you were not required to read that surprises you now. Um, I was in advanced English in high school, so we ended up doing these extra world lit classes along with just our typical English language arts. And we got to vote on some of the books we read. One that I ended up not being required to read that I have read since that I really enjoyed and surprised me is Perfume by Patrick Suskind. Prompt two, a book you were, were, were required to read and actually liked. Um, this is the one that we ended up reading instead of Perfume and it's The Plague by Albert Camus. Although it was kind of depressing and I didn't always necessarily agree with my English teacher that this book about plague was uh, a metaphor for the German occupation of France during the World War. I still enjoy it. I still enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, it was just really well done. It wasn't too long of a book, like so the story was pretty short and sweet. And I just, I remember it fairly fondly. Prompt three, a book you were required to read, didn't want to, but now love. I don't really have a good answer for this because, like I mentioned, I was in those advanced English classes or courses in high school so that we did this world literature as well. So our, like, our choice of book was a little bit different than a lot of other classes. And as a result, we weren't reading stuff that I had already read. And so, like, the closest, I guess, for this, I would get for this question is Jane Eyre. Um, I didn't, I read it in grade nine, so when I was 14. I didn't really want to, um, but we had to pick a classic novel to do a book review on, and I didn't want to read The Count of Monte Cristo, so <laughs> I read that. And, I mean, it's not like I would necessarily say I love it now. I find it kind of problematic. Uh, but it's the closest I come for that one. Prompt four, a book you were, were required to read and did not like. This would have been in my grade 10 year, so my sophomore year. And that is Blood Wedding by Federico Garcia Lorca. It had a lot of weird imagery I just remember, distinctly remember not enjoying it. I know it's a play, like a screenplay and not actually a book, but it's probably one of the few where I, I did not like it. I did not like analyzing it and I did not like writing essays on it. And I had to do all of those things. Five, list the Shakespeare plays you were required to read. I read what was pretty typical at our high school. We read Romeo and Juliet in grade nine, Macbeth in grade 10, Nothing in grade 11 for us. Uh, we did a lot of other international screenplays, which is where it was the same teacher that I read like Blood Wedding with. We read a lot of other international plays like the uh, Theban Tragedies by, um, oh, what's his name? Sophocles, there we go. And so then in grade 12, we finished up with Hamlet. Uh, six is a book that should be required reading in in high school now. I really don't know. Um, I would actually probably pick The Paper Menagerie and Other Stories by Ken Liu. Uh, just because it was a variety of stories, you'll get a lot out of it, and you'll get a perspective you don't necessarily see in a lot of other literature that at least we were was being read at my time in high school, which is over a decade ago now. Prompt seven, uh, name a popular author from when you were in high school that you did not get into. A lot of my girlfriends at the time, like my close friends, really loved Jodi Picoult books. I had one friend who had the same first name who loved her stuff, like absolutely over the moon about her stuff. She read every single book of hers that was published at the time. And she tried to convince me to read them and this 
the way the stories were described to me, maybe it was just that set of friends, but they never convinced me to pick it up every time they described the book. It sounded like something I wouldn't enjoy. And after watching My Sister's Keeper the movie, and then being told that it was different from the book, but then being told how the book ends, and that that's pretty normal for her books, I just n never, I've never picked up her books. <laughs> the final prompt, eight. Name a hyped book from when you were in high school. And I, dear viewers, as you could probably tell, um, I think I've talked about it at some point, and just given my that I was in high school about a decade ago, Twilight and that entire series was really big while I was in high school. <laughs> and I loved that series. I loved it so much that when the fourth book came out, my parents pre-ordered it and let me go to the midnight release at Chapters. Uh, which gives you an idea of how much I loved it. I did not love it enough to dress up or wish Edward was my vampire boyfriend or Jacob was my werewolf boyfriend, but I loved the story, I loved the idea of it, I loved the emotion that was involved. And that's it. That's all the prompts here. Uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, just check out the comments below, or just check out the description below for the link to let Haley read. I'll include the channel and her video of this. And uh, if you are wanting to do this, I tag you. Feel free, just remember to say where you got the prompts from. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.